Hey train friends, welcome back to another video review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Lionel Legacy ES44AC, the EJ&E Heritage, and this beautiful orange paint scheme. Just look at how pretty that thing is. We're going to talk about it today on PGH Train Fanatic. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, please like and subscribe. Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern Railway, better known as the J, was a class one railroad operating between Waukegan, Illinois, and Gary, Indiana. The railroad was formed in 1884 with the merger of the Joliet Aurora Northern Railway and the Elgin, Joliet, and Eastern Railway. The railroad served as a link between class one railroads traveling to and from Chicago, although it operated mostly entirely within the city suburbs and only entered Chicago where it served the U.S. Steel South Works on the shores of Lake Michigan. In 1901, the U.S. Steel Corporation had purchased the railroad and operated it until December 31st of 2012. And on the 124 year anniversary, January 1st of 2013, the Canadian National had purchased the railroad and merged it with the Wisconsin Central Limited, which is another subsidiary of the Canadian National. More recently, the Canadian National had painted several heritage engines one of them being the EJ&E. As you see here, it turned out fantastic looking and Lionel recreated it and offered it in their 2022 volume one catalog. As you can see here, the pages in the catalog offered several different versions of heritage engines. These came in priced at $699. This particular model is item number 2233461. Quickly going over the details in this engine, you can see on the front, it's packed full of details, handrails, grab irons, windshield wipers, LED lighting, ditch lights, MU hoses, the snow plow, the kinematic pilots, electrocoupler. Just look at the coloration on the sides. I love the silver on the bottom. You can see the ground lighting, how it shines really nice on those. There's even windows in the cab that move with engineer figures and LED lighting inside. On the top of the engine, you can see the cab roof is white, looks really great. The back also has the kinematic pilots and the electrocoupler and LED lighting. You can just see how crisp and clean the paint job is with that logo on the side. Let's take a listen to the five horns that are selectable on this locomotive. On the top of the locomotive, there is an operating smoke unit and the back lid is removable to access the switch controls. This engine is equipped with Lionel's legacy system and Bluetooth, which means you can run it in conventional control, command control, or Bluetooth with the Lion Chief app. So to sum up this quick review, this engine is fantastic. It just looks stunning on the layout. I couldn't find anything I didn't like about it and it sounds great. If you're looking to get one of these, you can call my favorite train store, Brady's Train Outlet in Greensburg, PA. Make sure you use that code that's on the screen right now. Also check out our affiliate, Trains with a Z, at trains.com and use the code PGH Train Fanatic for $10 off an order of 50 or more. They offer many new and used locomotives and rolling stock. You can check out their website. They have tons of great items. This is the tower. Make a pull to the pit to top her off. Over. Roger that. We're in position. Out. Dispatcher, the air test is complete. I'd like her to make a move. Over. Timers are running on the plant now. You're the next move. Out. Are we clear through the diamond? Over. You're 
indication. Oh. Uh, six is also detected. Is that correct? Over. Yeah, correct. We're still getting a couple of fields there. Over. Okay, copy that. All right. Thank <laughs> you.